Here's a tutorial on how to get Project M for your Wii. I'm just going to start off here on Google um, and you're going to type in Smash Bros Legacy and click on the first link. It's going to take you to this website called smashbroslegacy.com. Uh, this is like the easiest way to get Project M. This is a current build and you can get all the character all the current characters and features um, in addition to some other costumes and stuff. So you click on download here at the top and on the on this side there's going to be a download button and you just click on it. It'll take you to this website uh, called Brawl Vault and you basically you can download it here. The link is right here. It's this blue link and you just click on that and it'll take you to Mega NZ and so you can download it'll download it for you. First you're gonna need to pick the version that you want. For this video you're going to need to download the homebrew version. Um, so you're just gonna click on this right here and when you right click on it just click on download standard download. Here's the uh, download status. If you click on the bottom left button here it is Legacy 1.3 homebrew download status. Uh, I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to cancel it. Alright guys, so once you have that downloaded you're going to get this um, you're going to get this RAR file and if you don't have WinRAR just go into Google and type in WinRAR W-I-N-R-A-R -E and on the first link you're going to go to download this application so you can open the file and you just gonna click on downloads and either you're going to click on the top blue link called WinRAR x86 32-bit if you're on Windows and you're running an older machine that's 32-bit um, it's also safe if you have a 64-bit machine if you have a pretty new computer, just download the WinRAR x64 64-bit and install that. So once you get this downloaded, you're just going to right-click it and extract to PM Legacy. It's going to be the bottom, the bottom choice when you right-click. And so here's the Project M Legacy folder, and um, this folder has all the uh, files and stuff that we need to install it on the SD card. Here's the files from the download. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy these files over to our SD card. Um, oh, but first let me show you guys how to format your SD card properly. So this is a 2 gigabyte SD card and to format it um, first before we install Project M Legacy we're going to format this and so you're going to right click it and go to format and when you format it you're going to want to make the allocation unit size uh, default and just call it PM Legacy and just make sure that you, you don't have to quick format it, but um, you can just, if you, all you have to do is format it, it doesn't matter if it's quick format or not. Uh, so when the format is done, you're going to copy your files to your SD card. So just press paste. Alright guys, so uh, all the files have been copied to the SD card. As you can see, um, there's only 251 megabytes left. If we go in here, here's all our files. Um, and uh, all these files are what you need to run Project M. And if this will, these are the files for the hacked version. It'll be slightly different files if you're running hackless, but this video is mainly f covering for the, the hacked version. Alright guys, so we're here at our Wii and TV setup for our Project M Legacy. Here's the SD card that has the files on it. Just gonna go ahead and put the SD card in. 
the Wii and the TV are off right now, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the TV on and the Wii. Alright, so now this is the home for tutorial. So we're going to go to the Humber channel and um, to get, make sure you have your copy of Brawl also. Um, you're just going to stick it in the Wii because uh, you're going to need Brawl to run Project M. So here's the Project M booter. You're just going to go here, click on A on your GameCube controller and click on left and then load by pressing A. That's going to bring you to the Project M startup screen. So, I'm just going to click on A to play. And so now Louise is going to boot up Brawl, and it's also going to load Project M. There you go, Project M. And just go ahead and start playing.